showing the Shoiro move of the week. Um, I'm going to show it in kind of a series and how it changes together based off the different reactions of your opponent. So the move that we're going to show right now is the arm drag from the open guard. So right here, we start usually with the closed guard, right? We're grip fighting, we're hand fighting. I'm going to go, I've got control of both sleeves, right? He's fighting for position and control of my pants. Right now, from this position, one thing that I, I'm going to try to emphasize, it works for me, um, is that when I'm in the open guard, I try not to let my knees pass my hips. A lot of people, I'm sure there's a ton of moves that they can do. For, for me personally, I'm trying to keep my hips as mobile as possible. So just one thing that can apply to this move and a lot of others is that I don't want my knees past my hips. Once my knees are here, I'm semi-stacked. It'd be the same thing if my legs were here and he was almost trying to double under pass me. So here, head off the ground, butt off the ground, and shrimp. Right? Here, shrimp a little bit. Now, from here, Grant and I should keep it real taut on his sleeves. I'm gonna scream on. Right? Scream it tight here. Now I've got pressure with the back of my leg on Taylor's arm and I've got counter pressure with his sleeve, so I've got a good control, a good grip here. Now as I come up, I reach for his tricep. Well, we're gonna show this from a different angle later. The jump for his tricep here. Now there's two things that I can do, right? I can either kick his leg and come over. Here is when I'm going to post my hand and shift so that I'm going to give my hips more, more, more uh, space so that I can adjust and take his back. If I don't have more space in my hips and my hips are too deep, I'm not going to be able to get the tailor's back. And if I'm too deep, even off the arm drag, he might be able to push into me and drive back. Okay, so it's very important. Now, keep the angle, shrimp my hips out a little bit, kick over, here. Now, I can either kick out of his knee or adjust. And here it's very important that I get my chest in here because my chest is what's occupying the space so Taylor can't turn back into me. Another thing that I can do after I kick across, if if I don't get get a hold of his uh, tricep, because the guy might pull his elbow in, I go into his collar, pulling him forward, taking his back. Okay, other hook, or I'll draw him back on top and attack with him facing up. So, nice and tight. Shut my hip out. Screaming my leg. Pressure with my. Back of my thigh, counter pressure with my grip, here. Now, if say Taylor keeps his elbow in tight to his body, like he should, here, and he drives in, I'm going to turn it into a collar drag. And a lot of times, they slap their head on the mat, which gives you an added effect, and then I take his back. the uh, triangle off the, the failed arm drag from the close guard. Basically what happens is maybe I hit the arm drag on a guy already in the match, somehow I escape my back attack, or you know it's uh, somebody I roll with a, a lot and so they, they're hip to it, right? So this again is just something else to go to. A lot of times I'll, I'll go back to my close guard if I have to, but something interesting to play with. And this again works both gi and no gi. So first, I'm starting in the same position. Sh shrimp out to towards the arm that I'm gonna attack. Kick over, right? Now Taylor is gonna drive in, trying to block me with his head from being able to drive across. So I've identified that. He drives in, and there. I 
shoot the triangle. Okay. So since I have his uh, his sleeve, if he shoots before I reach for his arm, and I'm going to show two different ways. Here, a shrimp coming across. He tries to block me up his head. And I just skip off his hip and shoot the triangle. It seems kind of kind of funny, like the guy's not going to necessarily want to drive him to the triangle, but you'll be surprised how, how many times this happened. So again, sometimes I'll push, I'll go ahead and escrima here too, and now after I go for my grip, I've let go of Taylor's grip. Now he goes to block me. This is going to be a slightly different angle. Okay. Now my hand underneath, I can either slip to the underhook on the other side, or I pull out and cut his elbow. Playing the triangle. Okay, so we're just gonna try to keep it slow. Shrimp. I go across. This time, I'm gonna actually make contact with Taylor's bicep. He blocks me with his head. Here, pulling out, grabbing his elbow. If he blocks me early, and sometimes it's just a block, he doesn't have to put his head across. He just puts his head in my chest so I can't move. Finishing the triangle. Okay, so this is uh, FTCC show your roll self-defense uh, scenario number one. Say you're out at a bar, right? You happen to be feeling good. You know, you just want to play pool with some friends, and you're wearing your nice new key top, right? So you go to the bar, you're playing pool. You walk up, you notice there's this Chinese guy with a fade and some bangs, and he's making eyes at you, right? And you're like, it's kind of weird. I mean, I know I'm in San Francisco, but I don't think I'm giving off that vibe. So I'm playing pool. And he's gonna go ahead and try to grab me. I'm like, let go of my favorite guitar. <laughs>